previous videos, I connected my GPS module to my flight controller and I set it up through Betaflight. Today we're going to take it outside and try it out. Let's go ahead and power up the quadcopter and put on the goggles and see what's going on with the satellites. So in my OSD, I've got my satellites in the bottom left hand corner. We're going to see it initializing here. So right now I've got zero satellites. It's blinking down there in the bottom left hand corner. I've got my system set up where it needs at least six satellites to enable the GPS rescue. So I'm going to wait until we have at least six satellites before I start flying. All right, so we got four satellites which starts giving us initial altitude. It's way off though because we've got very few satellites. Okay, we got six satellites, so now you can see we've got the direction to home arrow, which is right in the middle of the screen at the upper top. Uh, we also have a distance to home, which is currently showing zero feet, and in the middle bottom we got a miles per hour indicator, which is showing zero. Okay, so we got eight satellites. All right. I think it's about time to try this thing out. Okay, we got nine satellites now. Pop it into air mode. Let's take off. So what I'm going to do first, I'm not going to immediately go and try rescue mode because I, I want to make sure that at least the GPS is working correctly. So I'm checking out the return to home arrow. And I flew out and I'm going to fly back following the arrow and it should be right near my car up there. Distance to home is 150, 120. All right, so it, that looks right. Let's do a couple more passes just to make sure. So the arrow is pointing down, which is, says um, my home position is behind me. So I'm making my turn, making the arrow point straight up. And that is, yep, that's my home position. Let's do another one just to check. So obviously my altitude is way off. It's showing I'm at about negative feet, and I'm obviously in the air. Speed is pretty accurate. We checked that with a radar gun, and so as I was flying by at 40 miles an hour, that was pretty accurate. Distance to home looks like it might be pretty accurate. Arrow is still pointing in the right direction, so let's head out. Once I get to a good location, I am going to flip my three position switch to the rescue position, and then we'll just see what happens. Okay, I think we're about ready. GPS looks good. The arrow's pointing in the right direction. Got 13 satellites. I'm going to head down to the end of this road at the corner of the field and flip the switch to rescue. And here we go. And it immediately turned around, pointed back towards the home location, and we're flying at 22, 26 miles an hour back to the home location, 150 feet away, 190, 70. Okay, so we've shot over, so it turned around again. Looks like we're descending. Descending. Not bad. I'm going to take control back over here. Put it into air mode right about now. So it's not perfect, obviously. It's not going to bring you right back to the exact home location, but I think the intent is you can flip your switch, get video back if you lost video, or if you lost receiver, uh, it should fly itself back up to the rescue altitude and then start flying its way back home. Here's another test. And it is pointing in the right direction. It's flying home at 35 miles an hour. And I 
shot over so it turned around again I'm 170 feet away from home descending into the field so it's it's quite a bit away from the actual home position but again I if I use it for what it may be intended for, and it's just to get your video signal back or get your receiver signal back, I think it's going to work pretty good.